Welcome back to Algebra. Here we're going to get a little more practice with dividing these negative and positive numbers. So here we're given that a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to negative 1, c is equal to 2, and d is equal to 6. That's what we're given. And then we're going to simplify the following expressions. What if we have b plus 5 times c divided by 3 minus d? Now all you have to do is plug in the values and then you have to use all the, the rules that we have learned to solve it. So b here is going to be negative 1. So you have negative 1 plus 5 times c. c is 2, so it will be written just like this. And then on the bottom we have 3 minus d, which is 6. It will be written just like that. Now, remember order of operations. You can think of this fraction as there being an implied parentheses around this term and implied parentheses around this. So you have to do the top separately from the bottom first. Now inside the top, you have addition, but you have multiplication. Multiplication always comes first, so you have to leave that addition for last. One, negative 1 plus 5 times 2 is 10. On the bottom, the only thing there is subtraction. So 3 minus 6, you subtract them. 6 minus 3 is 3, but the larger absolute value is the negative sign, so it's going to be negative 3 on the bottom. Now we add the tops. We're adding mixed signs, so we do subtraction. 10 minus 1 is 9. The larger absolute value is the 10, so it becomes positive 9. And then on the bottom, we'll have negative 3. Now we finally use the concept we've learned in the section, which is dividing 9 divided by negative 3. We're dividing different signs, so the answer is going to be negative. 9 divided by 3 is going to give you 3. And that's the final answer. Now what if you have um, a times b times c divided by 1 minus